Hello, everyone. Today, let me introduce this PLC-based motor control system. This system is composed of four different parts. First one is the PLC. Second is the computer, which was connected to the PLC. And the third is the disk space. This is the disk space controller board. And this is the disk space I.O. board. This I.O. board will function as the interface between PLC and uh, disk space controller board. And the last one is the computer which was connected to the disk space. The connection between PLC and the disk space was realized through four wires. First is the from output zero to ADC 17 of this space, it uh, transfer the control speed from the PLC to this space. And the second is this uh, from output two of PLC to the ADC 18 of this space, it will transfer the desired speed from PLC to this space. And the third is from DAC one of this space to input one of PLC, it will feedback the actual speed of motor from this space to PLC. And the fourth one is the AC2 of this space to the input two of PLC. It will feedback the phase current of the motor from this space to PLC. Next, let me introduce how to operate this system. First, in the MATLAB command window, we open the Simulink program. This Simulink program will be downloaded to the DSpace device to simulate the performance of a DC motor. Here, this part is a second order motor model which, is, which will simulate the DC motor performance. And here is the ADC interface 17. It will provide the control signal from PLC. And ADC 18, it will provide the desired speed. Here, DEC1 will feedback the actual speed of motor to PLC. And then DEC2 it will feed back the phase current of motor to PLC. And um, next, we need to download this program to the disk space device. In the tools, real-time workshop, and uh, hit build model, the program will be changed to the MATLAB command window and shows the status of downloading progress. After completely downloaded, we can open this we can open this D space control desk software. This uh, with this software we can operate the operate and check the status of the D space. In the file, we open a variable file. Here, this SDF was the, is the variable file that was created when we download the MATLAB program to the disk space device. We open this variable file, and then open a lab file. This lab file was pre-developed, so we just open it and run it. Okay, change the running mode from edit mode to animation mode. It start record the status of the DC motor. In this plotter, it shows two curves. One is motor ideal speed, which was shown as red curve, 
and the actual speed will be shown as green curve. And also, it shows the value of desired speed, actual speed, control voltage, and phase current. In this capture window, we can set the capture length as 10 seconds, and then deselect this auto-repeat. Next, let's switch to the PLC device. This is the PLC program, which will be downloaded to the PLC device. Here, this is the main program. It is composed of three different user-defined function blocks. First one is set speed. Second is communication. The last one is the controller part. Let's take a look at the set speed. We use four different buttons of PLC to set the speed. Button zero, set speed as zero. Button one, speed 300. Button two, speed 500. And button three, speed 700. Next, let's uh, look at the communication. It functions the communication between the PLC and uh, the space. Analog input 1 will get the actual speed from the space. Analog input 2 will get the phase current. This actual speed and the phase current is the feedback signal. And um, analog output 2 will send the desired speed to the disk space device. And the uh, analog output 1 will be sent the control voltage to the disk space. Before we download this program, OK, next, let's take a, uh, we need to look at the control part. Here is the integral integr block. And uh, we use some calculation to get the control signal. Before we download this program to PLC, we need to be build this program first. Hit build. At the bottom, it shows the status of uh, building progress. After it said successfully built, we can download this program. Again, at the bottom, it will show the status of downloading progress. After it was downloaded completely, it asks us if we want to change the mode to running mode. Hit yes. So we can see the mode change from program to run mode. And then, right now, we can use this PLC to control the speed of the DC motor. On the capture window, we hit the start button, and then set the speed to 70, 700. We can see the desired speed was changed immediately from 0 to 700. And then the actual speed, which was shown as green curve, will approach to the ideal speed. It has some fluctuation or an overshoot, but finally it reaches the desired speed. And then with this save button, we can save this um, data. We give it a name as M1. We can also start another circulation and change the speed to zero again. We can see the ideal speed was changed from 700 to zero. And the actual speed will approach to ideal speed zero 
simultaneously. Okay, we can save this data again. This data will be saved as a MAT file. We can use MATLAB to show this data, this data as a, as a figure. Okay, after we finish the operation, change the mode back to edit mode and hit stop button. Close this desktop and then in the PLC side, we need first to change the running mode to add program mode. And then disconnect this computer from PLC. The future work will be focus on use this PLC based controller to control this real motor through this based device.